Hello and welcome back. Today I would like to review On the Beach by Neville Shute, which was first published in 1957, and it's a classic in the post-apocalyptic genre. It's a relatively short book set in Australia in the 60s, where a quick World War III has completely annihilated the Northern Hemisphere, and radioactive radiations are slowly making their way south, and we find out pretty quickly that Australia will be affected in a matter of weeks as the book starts. We follow a relatively small number of characters in their daily lives, with this looming menace getting closer and closer every single day. Shoot does a pretty decent job in describing how different people have pretty different reactions to this dramatic scenario. Some people are in complete denial and they keep making plans for a, an indefinite future, and others um, take a more fuck it approach to life and engage in activities where they put their life at risk, which I suppose in a scenario where nuclear annihilation is close is probably a fairly rational thing to do. There were definitely some nice snippets of interesting themes being explored in the book. For instance, uh, having to face the possibility of having to euthanize your child, which is probably something that no one really wants to think about or the role of art in the individual and collective consciousness when two of the characters visit an art gallery. The ending of the book is also well executed and is probably my favourite section of this book. However, all of that said, I have to say that the book overall didn't quite live up to my expectations and left me a bit disappointed. I was hoping to see something quite original or realistic or ideally both in how this very dramatic situation is, is depicted, but I, I really feel like I got neither. Even considering the period when this was first published, uh, with the idea of a nuclear meltdown being quite shocking and probably feeling a, a lot more real and present than in my field now. Even so, the, the lives of the characters that we follow feel incredibly mundane and the analysis of this dramatic situation onto society seems a bit shallow to me. We saw what happened to toilet paper last year when something like COVID happened, which in the bigger scheme of things is still relatively minor. And yet in this uh, nuclear annihilation scenario, you still have them going about sailing, going to art galleries, um, drinking port in the club. Uh, and, and also you have all these servants and waiters and workers who are still perfectly happy to keep supporting um, you know, the, the lifestyle of the upper class. It, it just seems like a very unrealistic depiction of what would happen in a very um, dramatic scenario. So even though the premise of the story was very interesting and some of the sections of the book were well executed, the book as a whole didn't quite work for me and left me wanted and disappointed overall. So unless you're really a fan of this genre or if you like pretty old fashioned books, it's not necessarily a book I would strongly recommend. For that reason, my overall rating for this book is five out of 10. If you have read this book and have any thoughts, please let me know in the comments. Or if you have other recommendations in the post-apocalyptic genre, please do let me know as well. I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up, join our Discord, and I'll see you the next time.